This took me a long freaking time to find again. What up everybody, my name is Lonson, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Alpha Sapphire in the last episode. We had a lot of freaking cutscenes that killed my voice. In this episode, we're going to dive on in to Mons Deep City. Um, so yeah, now as you can see, Sully is now using Dive. I decided to just give it Sully. Just because, why not? Might as well. So yeah, now, also I should mention something about this place. Is there's a Pokemon in here you want to grab. I'm going to get it off camera, but there is a Pokemon, and it's called, you know, I forgot what it's called. I've generally forgot what it's called. I'll put it on screen, but you want to go catch that Pokemon. Like I said, I'm going to, really camp, that right, never mind. Um, you want to catch that Pokemon, and the reason being, well, it's used later on in the game. Now, you also, I should tell you now, you also want a Whale Lord. Just saying. Um, if you want the legendaries, you want a Whale Lord. That's all I'm going to say for now. But yes, welcome to Sutopolis City. Now, I'm going to go into the Pokemon Center first, just for the sake of being able to fly back here. So, yeah. Alright. I don't need a heal, because I'm already healed up. So, yeah. Anyway. But yeah, welcome to Sutopolis City. Now, it's not much to look at right now, because of the rain. But, once we stop the rain... This place looks freaking beautiful. Now, I don't think we can actually battle the gym leader yet. Um, no, we can't. Um, and then come down here. There we go. Nagisa. So, you did come. I have been waiting for you. What terrible rain. It feels as though the entire world will be washed away. Ah, yes. You need to hear what my friend has to say. Meet Wallace. My name is Wallace. I'm this town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. Something to know about this guy is, by the way, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Wallace is the gym leader, but once Emerald came, um, he got taken over by Juan. Um, so yeah, that's just a little something interesting trivia for you. I think Wallace became the champion in Emerald, if I remember correctly. But yeah, some uh, fun fact for you. This town part is being caused by power emanating from the Cave of Origin. This is the Red Orb. I see. Follow me. Ooh, where are we going? It's rain. People in Pokemon need water to live. Well done, Captain Obvious. So why does this rain fill with so much dread? I mean, there's practically a tsunami at this point. This rain clouds massing over Sutopolis keeps building. Soon that they will stand all over Hoenn. If that was to happen. I should have gotten a drink of water before this on this video. I didn't do that. I just forgot. This is the Cave of Origin. A.K.A. Kyogre's Man Cave. Alright. Team Aqua and Team Magma. We have been expecting you. Archie. I'm going to hand over that thing we developed to this kid. Alright? Yes. The Aqua Suit. Take it. Okay. Why are you giving me this? Why are you going to give it me? The super high performance protective suit was made with the combined technology the Devon Corporation and Team Aqua. Calm down, it's just a suit. We're actually prepared in anticipation of coming into contact with Kyogre. I'll just leave it with you. But, even if you put that thing on, do you really think you'll be able to make it way to where the Kyogre waits? The energy overflowing from this shine is certainly much more powerful than we had expected. Its influence is making the current grow stronger. There is nothing to fear. The rare but she bears. In ancient powers will protect both the girl and her Pokemon. Hmm, so that's it. Now you mention it. I do remember the elderly couple at Mount Pyre saying such. The blue orb is capable of releasing Kyogre's full power, of reverting it to its primal form. While the red orb has power to quell that flood of power. Yes, the energy overflowing from the Cave of Orange in just now. It's the energy that gives Kyogre its power. The red orb that contains power to suppress that. 
it should be possible to cam the fast of the Great Flood. Well, let's just hope that because, well, things aren't going so well right now, as you can clearly tell. So, yeah. The course of Red Orb's power alone will not lead you to where Kyogre awaits. You will not reach Owen's call that way. Use the suit that you will be given. With that, you'll finally be able to. It will become possible to stand up against forces of nature. Nagisa, to think that you had the Red Orb, you'll be okay. You and your Pokemon can handle it. Whatever happens, I believe that. Now, I just wanted to say that before going into this cave, you want to bring some Ultra Balls with you. Just saying. Um, because you're pretty much going to be battling with Kyogre when you get in here, so... I need to go and do that. I need to go and get it. So, yeah. But you must go, together with the Red Orb. You must go regardless of what awaits you inside that cave. Oh, will I now? I mean, like, seriously, I'm a ten-year-old! You are grown-ass men! Why do you keep sending the ten-year-old girl into doing everything? Like, I, I'm not even a teenager yet. I'm just saying, like, that just, I don't know, it just seems irresponsible to me. I'm just, I just throwing it out there. <laughs> we will also work to mobilize our team's members and offer to help the people in Pokemon who are, are often most used to the disaster. Now's the time when we must simply do the best that we can with Sand and Chosen Rule. New child? No, you must act in as a male child today. Trainer, I am sorry to say that we have put the greatest burden on your shoulders alone. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you don't flipping say. Good God. Alright. Um, but I trust you to take care of this. I've just, I've got no choice, have I? I really just, I have no choice. It's just everything at this point. Alright. <laughs> sorry. Uh, do I have to do... Fine, I'll do it. Right, I'm begging you. So, save us. The world and Kyogre. Oh, man. Oh, man. No pressure or anything. Nagisa. When I saw the news about Sutopolis on my bus nav, that they were you, Nagisa. Well, anyway, all I could think about was coming to help. You don't know how glad I am to see that you're still in one piece. Ooh, this branded like Nagisa. Boy, is that Team Aqua a magma? Oh, I don't really know what to say right now. I'm kind of dumbfounded. You mean you can't do them? Look, I get that this is probably something way bigger than I have ever imagined. So I won't bother you with any questions now. I'm going to find out what I should do to help, and then I'm going to do whatever I can. You better do the same, Nagisa. I'll always be right here behind you. You're my best friend after all. Oh! Nagisa just got best friend zoned! Oh! <laughs> Damn! Nagisa just got best friend zoned. Good God. Alright. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to just go quickly get some Ultra Balls. Um, basically, get myself prepared, and I'll meet you right back here. Alright, let's just go ahead and do this. Alright, I'm sort of nervous because this is the first legendary battle I'm going to do in, like, ages, but yeah. Okay, just thought I'd save it just because. Alright, so we can't go in this entrance because that's the way to come out. I don't know, like, I don't know why they did it. I mean, look at this, right? So if we go through here, it's just, it's just blocked off by rocks. But it's not even the destructible rocks, but for some reason, once we catch him, like, for some reason the rocks move. I don't know why. But let's just keep going down. I don't think we can... There's no Pokemon to encounter... Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, there's no Pokemon to encounter until we've caught Kyogre. Uh, I should mention, it's not a requirement to catch Kyogre. I'm just doing it because I want to catch Kyogre. So yeah, let's just do this though. Let's do it. Alright. We're almost there. Like, just... Like, let's just stop shaking the ground, Kyogre. Come on, let's calm down. Let's just, let's, like, have a snicker. You're not you when you're hungry. Snicker. Um, get some nuts. I don't know. It's getting really misty. Like, good lord. Alright. I'm just gonna walk the rest of the way, because, like, the bike's really not helping much. It really is misty right now, though. It's difficult to see, but I put my glasses on, because 
I seriously couldn't see anything when trying to find Sutopolis. So, yeah. Okay. So, right here, guys, you want... I didn't get to save. Kyogre, you didn't let me save. But watch this, guys. When I saw this for the first time, I thought, wow. Just wow. Change into the aqua suit. Like, Nagisa can barely see out of that. <laughs> it's like covering like half her eyes. And fit the suit with the red orb. Look at this. Things are about to get really cool. Although, you want to save because if you don't and you fail this, then you're going to cry. And you have to watch this cutscene every single time. So it gets kind of long. You can hear a voice from within aqua suit. Hey, you read me, little scamp? Aye, it's me, Archie. There's a device built into that suit that lets me talk to you. We're getting readings up here that looks like Kyogre's appeared. I guess you're staring right at it, if I'm not mistaken. You could say that. Don't be afraid, scamp. You leap right into that beast's back. Then, let take you... And for, wasn't, for once, that wasn't my crap speech. The sound cut out. Yeah, you have to watch this cutscene every single time. I'm not joking. If you don't catch this, you have to watch this cutscene every single time until you do. It's really obnoxious, I'm not going to lie. Alright. But I will admit, though, just look how beautiful this cutscene looks. I mean, seriously, when I saw this, and the next cutscene that's going to appear, I just thought, wow, we really are coming far in terms of Pokemon now. Like, um... It's one of them things, really, where it's like, I don't know, I just feel like, I mean, just look how freaking beautiful this place is. I haven't seen Primal, um, Kyogre, not Kyogre, um, Groudon's, uh, layer, because I haven't got, um, Omega Ruby, but just look how beautiful this is. Honestly, just look how beautiful it is. Alright. You want to save. Just me. Um, if you go to the Poké on the bottom, by the way, um, this is what will show up. It's just a bunch of static, like, literally nothing shows up, meaning you can't catch any Pokémon here. I didn't realise Lightning actually came on it, so that's new. Um, yeah, it literally, that's all you'll see, static. Alright, so you want to get as close as you can to Kyogre. Save it, because we're about to battle. Let's do this. Roar. Now bear in mind, you have to watch this cutscene every time um, you want to catch him. It's long, I don't know why, but you just, you gotta watch it. So yeah, you ready? We are about to see Primal Kyogre. Oh my lord, look at how beautiful this cutscene is, like, I, I flipping love this cutscene. I can't get enough of it. Honestly. Honestly. Alright. Ready? Let's do this! Let's go! Oh man. Look how awesome that looked. I love this cutscene so much. Welcome to the stage! Primal Kyogre! I do have stats of it, although finding the information for it was really flipping difficult. Like, literally, I went to so many pages and nobody had wrote about what its moves were. I had to watch a video from a Tyranitar tube um, in order to get the moveset. Mug Kyogre, level 45, um, water type, and its moves is Origin Pulse, Body Slam, Ice Beam, and Aqua Ring. It's holding the blue orb, and its ability, I think, is Pressure. So yes, this thing, guys, is one of, in my opinion anyway, the coolest battles in this game. Now, I made a really stupid mistake of having Blazer going up, so he's just instantly going to die. But you know what? We might as well get a few moves off him before we do this. Guys, just, we're getting there. Look at this. Just, in my opinion anyway, this is just a really cool move. Now, Origin Pulse is the move mainly that you want to look out for. Um, and the reason why I say that is because, well... He's pretty much his strongest move. 
Um, apart from Ice Beam, Origin Pulse is his strongest move. Um, now, with Origin Pulse, it's one of the moves where it's like... It is really hard. So, what I would recommend doing is pulling out a Grass Type. Now, I'm, I'm debating whether to do John or Meganium. I'm thinking John because he's got um, a False Swipe. So, honestly, that might be his best bet. Now, he has got Aqua Ring, so he can heal, which this is going to make it a little bit more tedious, but like I said, False Swipe, I'm going to be able to get him down to 1 HP and never kill him. So, I'm glad about that, because that would be obnoxious as anything. All right. I do have potions, I believe. I should have checked that before doing this. But, yeah, hopefully we don't struggle with this. I mean, I don't mind if we have to use... Oh, no! I don't mind if we have to use a couple of Ultra Balls, but if it gets like ridiculous, it's not going to be fun. Alright, let's switch to Sully, because it'll probably be the most resistant, considering the ice types and whatnot. Alright, and let's use our first Ultra Ball. Oh, boy. You ready? I really wish I brought some Dive Balls, but I didn't think of that. So, more than Thomas. Alright, maybe first ball? Maybe? Do? Oh my god, I honestly thought that was going to work. Could you imagine if I got it on the first Ultra Ball? That would have been beautiful. Honestly, that would have been awesome. But, whatever, it's fine. Alright, hopefully I do have revives. I really hope so, anyway. Um, if this does take too long, I might speed up the footage. Or, cut until when we get a successful attempt at throwing the ball. Let's use it. Let's do it. I'm so sorry, just... I really don't want to keep watching the cutscene. Um... So, I'm sorry about that guys, I really didn't want to do it, but I just, I was kind of forced to. I feel like the comments are going to be getting spam right now with, Why you do this? Well, at least Fletchling got a buttload of experience from that. Jeez. <laughs> Fletchling do just, like, Fletchling do just got levels from that. Alright. Look at that. We call it Kyogre. Kind of. <laughs> Kyogre is said to be the personification of the sea itself. Legend tells of its many clashes against Groudon, as it even sought to gain the power of nature. And we don't want to give a nickname. Watch this cutscene, guys. It's just... It's just wow. Seriously. Look at this. <laughs> Looks like we've done it, guys. I know it looks bad, but we've done it. We've rid the world of the badness that was caused by Kyogre. And we've pretty much ensured that he will never cause trouble again by shoving him into a Pokeball, slamming him in the PC, and never touching him again. Just let him collect dust. We're good Pokemon trainers. And just like that, it's the end of the game. Thank you all for watching this Let's Play. <laughs> now you're going to say anything, you're just going to do a hand gesture? Alright. Is anyone going to say anything? Or are you just going to... Just look at the sky. And I guess you're just gonna look at the sky. Say something. You know, I'm honestly surprised, and I really wish Nintendo did this. I really wish Nintendo gave everybody like an iPhone or something, and so like they could Snapchat it or something, just to show what modern day society is like. Most days now, where it's just like recording literally everything that happens. I really wish they did it, so they like they pull out the phone and then it's just like, well, selfie or um, well, uh, Instagram, YouTube, you know. I really wish they did that. That would have been so funny, but they didn't do it. and I'm really disappointed. And it's getting way too loud. Nagisa, so it's all over. Nagisa, we owe you great thanks. Look above you. The sky over Zootopolis has returned to normal. His beautiful, beautiful darling, his beautiful. The power which has been pulling within the cave of origin is now flowing back into the world. It's so warm. 
but now my heart felt like it was about to be crushed by uncertainty and terror. Damn, dude. That's deep. But now it feels like it's soft set as ease. The land. All the sea. Humans. Or Pokemon. When we sought to bring happiness to only one, we nearly destroyed both. Now the world balance is restored to its natural state. Perhaps this is the time we must reconsider our ideals. Do you not agree? Archie. Yeah, you're right. Maxi. What you're saying is only natural. I know that. But still, I can't just change the world I believe to be ideal. The kind of world where I dreamed of making, where I could live alongside my beloved Pokemon. That hasn't changed. I know I've got nothing to stand on after causing this much hurt. Don't give out your platform to stand on. But. That's right. You caused a big fuss, that's when you almost brought about the downfall of the world. You brought. You big dolt. Oh! I'm gonna tweet solely that on Twitter and see what he responds. Hopefully, he responds during the episode so I can just be like, you know. <laughs> I know he's not gonna watch it, so I'm gonna have to send it him. Because that's the only way I get him to watch my videos these days. Oh, at the stealing Absol. I know this is not the time to be tweeting this. But you big dolt. And just to prove that I'm doing it. Just to prove it. <laughs> Let's see the reaction to that. Hopefully he does it during the episode. It'll be even more funnier. You almost brought about a downfall to well on tweet. <laughs> no matter how much you beg, no one can forgive that. But do you really need their forgiveness though? Even if you are a big doll, <laughs> no one in the world will ever forgive. I'll I'll stay with you. I'll stay with you forever. Ah, that's so sweet. So please. Stop going all about our own and start acting crazy. No, stop acting crazy. <laughs> You're on Team Aqua's leader. And we're your friends, after all. Shall we? Sorry and thanks. What are you going to give me? I think you owe me a present. Hmm. We adults have a duty to pass the world along to the next generation. A world worth passing along. What is truly need to do to create such a world? Or fight from the right of supremacy. I think it's time we consider this again with our team members and break down the wall between us. He still hasn't responded. Typical Sully. Alright, you little scamp. You managed to use that red orb. It's so now. Let's see you try this on for size. If you give it to Kyogre, you'll be able to control its primal reversion. So, yet again, you're trusting a 10 year old with something that almost destroyed the world. Great logic. Farewell. So long, farewell, I'll be the same. See ya. Why does everybody trust Nagisa with everything? Just saying. <laughs> Like, that thing almost destroyed the world, and we get it. What if I become a bad guy? Like, I could literally take over the entire world. I'm just saying. Team Macro and Team Macro are made up of people with completely opp opposing ideals and goals. Perhaps even those they can learn to meet halfway, one small concession at a time. Sully responds to the tweet. I know it's too much to expect that everything will change at once, but... I hope this crisis must at least help them take that, fast, that first vital step forward. I imagine that many changes are happening now all across Hoenn. Hope you'll be able to travel this world and see its richness with your own eyes. And reveal its newness, its newness into your own heart. But for the present, you must first wish to challenge the city's Pokemon gym. Then you'll find the very same Wally who helps us so much waiting for you. He's strong. But the way you are now, you should be able to battle him on an equal footing. And when you travel the world, you should try to use this. This flute is one of my favourite items, and it's one of my favourite items as well. We have tamed the Eon Flute. Guys, now that we have the Eon Flute, it pretty much renders our bird-type Pokemon friend 
pretty much useless. Like, um, essentially what it does, it's, um, well, basically a portable fly. You literally don't need fly anymore. The Sion fruit is proof of the bond between you and Latias. No matter how far you may have been to play that flute, you must surely fly straight to you. Yeah, you can even have Latias in your PC and it'll still come to you. It's really freaking cool and I love it. And it can take it to the sky soaring above the land with its astride its back. Yes, just like when we first encountered Latios and Latios at Southern Ireland. People, Pokemon, nature itself. Our survival in the world depends on all of us living together in harmony. I feel I've just begun to understand that. I'm just wondering, how will the world continue to change from this point on? It fills me with inaccept inexplicable excitement. Stop using smart words, Naisa. As you and your Pokemon live and grow in this changed world, I wonder what effect it will have on you. What will you think about it? What ideals will you believe in? If you do get the chance to meet again, I hope you'll be able to show me and my team the answers you found. Till then, I'm just going to walk off without saying bye because I'm rude. Why you gotta be so rude? Feels like we can only finally relax. I guess that's now the time to say thanks for all you've done, Nagisa. You know, we set off in Litteru at the same time, but it feels like you've just been dashing ahead by yourself and leaving me behind. I've been on the bike most of this time. I feel like we're not even on the same level anymore, you know? We were never on the same level! I've always been better than you! I kind of feel lonely thinking about it. Oh, it would be if I really thought that. But well, you did do something pretty amazing, so take it for a while easy, okay? Friend, I can't take it easy. I'm a YouTuber. We get no breaks. On that 24-7 grind. Alright. Well, we did it. Sort of. I mean, we used the Master Ball, but who cares? The comment section is going to be really paid off, aren't they? But guys, with that, I'm going to end this episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire off in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. We will... I don't know. But look at this. Mega Stone, by the way. Uh, Sable and I. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I shall see you next episode. Bye for now.